Let's solve this together. It says x plus y is equal to 6 and xy is equal to 6. So we're going to solve for the value or values of x and y. Okay. Now, first things first, from here we can call this equation 1 and call this equation 2. Okay. So we can say from equation 2, so we say from 2, x is equal to 6 divided by y. So we can replace x and 6 over y in equation 1. So we're going to have 6 over y plus y is equal to 6. Okay. Now we'll spend each term by y. We have y times 6 over y plus y times y is equal to 6 times y. Okay. Now y strikes y so that we have 6 plus y squared to be equal to 6y. From here, we can now write this, pushing this over, we have y squared, this second plus 6y becomes minus, okay, if we cross this over, this is minus 6y plus 6 is equal to 0, okay? This is a quadratic equation that we have. Moving on from here, we can now say that we can use the quadratic formula to solve this. So using the quadratic formula, we have that our y here will become equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, okay? Where our a is equal to 1, which is the coefficient of y squared, b is minus 6, which is the coefficient of y, and c is equal to 6, okay, which is a constant term. Now we have from here that our y will become equal to, so to substitute these values for a, b, and c in this expression, we have minus minus 6 is 6, plus or minus square root of 6 squared is 36, okay? Minus 4 times 6 is 24. Okay, so we have 24 here. Sorry for that. All over 2 times 1, which is 2. So this is equal to 6 plus or minus root of, this is 12 over 2. Okay, so then this is equal to 6 plus or minus. Root of 12 is something as 2 root 3. Okay, all over 2. So we now have that this is equal to um, 3 plus or minus root 3, as what our y is equal to. But then recall that we say that our x is equal to um, 6 over y, okay? So now substitute values for y into this equation to get the values for x, okay? Let's stop it now. Recall that x is equal to 6 over y, okay? Now when y, let's say when y is equal to 3 plus root 3, okay? One of the two answers we have. We now have our x now be equal to 6 divided by 3 plus root 3, okay? Using a procedure known as personalized denominator, you can rationalize this denominator to make it a rational number, which is probably a whole number, okay? Now, by multiplying here by the conjugate of the denominator, so the conjugate is 3 plus root 3. Of 3 plus root 3 is 3 minus root 3, okay? So this is 3 minus root 3 on the numerator, multiplying, divided by, again, multiplying the denominator by the same number, which is 3 minus root 3, alright? So this is what is called rationalized denominator. Now, at this point, you can now see that we have 6 into 3 minus root 3 divided by, now this is the difference of 2 squares, okay? So this is the difference of 2 squares. Now we square this to give us 9 minus the square of root 3 is 3. So this is now equal to 6 into 3 minus root 3 divided by 6. 6 strikes 6, so that we have that this is equal to 3 minus root 3. And what is equal to 3 minus root 3 is x. When y is equal to 3 plus root 3, okay? So we can conclude that this invariably means that when our x is equal to 3, my, 3, 3 plus root 3, okay? That our y will become equal to 3 minus root of 3, okay? So it means that the two answers for x is also 3 plus or minus root 2. Thank you for watching. If you made this to the end, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video.